we consume a lot of uh, Western um, content, whether it's films, uh, TV shows. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just I, there is one major problem for me personally is that I never related to the, to, the, to the content I love the most. I never related to the American film where the hero is always American and the bad guy is always Russian, German, or maybe... Okay. So after watching like, one of, um, I think it was Gladiator, I realized how, pop, po how powerful media can be. Because uh, when you see Gladiator, the, uh, um, uh, one man with uh, his influence on entertainment, which was making people happy in the Palestine and everything, mm -hmm. you can actually uh, decide the, the opinion uh, of a nation. We decided we want to make films, and uh, these types of films would be different. It would be as amazing as, and mesmerizing as uh, popular Western films, but as local and cultural as possible. Just working on the business plan took a year. Oh, wow. At that time, we didn't really need funding because okay. we were all university students. Yeah. And for us, this was more like the after-school thing that we used to do. Uh -huh. So okay. we, we, we selected 10, 10 companies. And uh, the 10 companies, well, when I say 10 companies, I mean 10 investors. Uh, I think all of them were, were, were interested. Yeah. Except a few uh, who were either not willing to take the risk, and I think they regretted it because uh, one of these companies uh, is, is actually a very popular media company in the yeah. region. Yeah. And uh, when they realized that uh, the we actually pitched to them, um, uh, they, they were really upset. The initial idea was to actually, each project should have a completely separate group of people working on it. The, the group of people don't have to be professionals, they can be amateurs. And we were willing to, to finance the, each project by, by allocating a fund for everybody. Let's say. Uh, five thousand riyals, ten thousand riyals didn't matter. It's just we had we had uh, we were the cap was twenty twenty k. Yeah. Okay. For each project, we uh, we would design the team and then help them guide them to create uh, the show. Uh, after we had the final product, we would actually put it on YouTube without a brand name. Okay. And then to test the waters, okay. see how it works. Uh, would people like it? Would want to watch? What is the feedback? Okay. Uh, we did this for three months. We, we, we interviewed, like, I think, 200 people, 200 Saudi individuals who just, uh, some of them didn't even, uh, like, uh, uh, were still at school and didn't even work, had, uh, work uh, before. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, after these projects were uh, applied, and, uh, and uh, we realized that the US currently, the most popular shows are the talk shows, uh, like, specifically. I think back then was Jay Leno. Jay Leno was uh, the most popular show uh, on TV uh, because it costs uh, it doesn't it doesn't cost a lot and it makes a lot of money and it's very simple very simple to make. So we we wanted to implement the same idea. We, so we were inspired by uh, Jay Leno, David Letterman, Jimmy Kimmel, and uh, John Stewart. Bit to, when we released Apply, uh, it created a buzz beyond our expectation. We released Attire after, I think, a few weeks, I think a week or two. Another show in Riyadh popped out called Laikfer. So uh, uh, we felt the competition said, if we stop, we would lose uh, uh, and, uh, being uh, the first. And uh, we decided that we only continue the, the shows that are popular so that by the time we have uh, our website ready and uh, our library of content ready, we would add Launch very strong. I realized that media is funded uh, yani, through three, three resources. It's either government, government funded, like uh, what we have in Canada. Canada, most of the media industry in Canada is funded by the government, yeah. or France and uh, Japan. Uh, we don't have that in Saudi Arabia. The second is uh, through advertising. Basically, you create content that has a, a very mass audience, and uh, and inside uh, the content around the content, you, you inject advertising. Mm -hmm. uh, and the third is subscription, like HBO and uh, and DVD, for example, where basically you just you pay for the content to watch. You realize the content is worth paying for, like theaters, for example. From the Nescafe Cup, I always see, I guess it will be advertising for your turn. Exactly. It is advertising. It, 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 it's not well, it is today advertising. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. All of our all our revenue is through, through sponsorship and advertising. Sure. I think I, I think because we what we're offering to our clients is uh, is far beyond what traditional media offers. Yeah. Today, uh, our shows, uh, for example, we have uh, the most popular show in the Arab world. Uh, it's called Ishili. Ishili gets uh, averages. Uh, Three million, two, two to three million per episode. Mashallah. Uh, this is amazing, and uh, it gets its first million in the first two or three days. Wow! Uh, from creative reasons, we believe that uh, because we are based in Saudi Arabia and because most of us uh, lived in Saudi Arabia for a big portion of their lives, uh, we really understand this culture very well, and we can create content that nobody else can create uh, uh, because we understand the culture and we relate to the people. From a business point of view, uh, we are we're still a very young company. We're, we're still very fragile. Uh, we, we're, we don't have, we, can, we can't afford to make a lot of mistakes. And usually a major mistake that a lot of companies do, especially growing companies, that they lose focus. And we, won't, we don't want to lose focus. Focus is extremely important for us. Uh, and, and this means focusing on the audience.